What's up guys, Alex here with another video and today I'm bringing you guys the first look into the just released Vegas Pro 12 which came out on the 28th of September of 2012. Now for me it was surprising because I just found out today that it came out and compared to last year it was announced in early September but it was released in mid-October so this is pretty early for a release. So let's head on right into the program and you can notice that you have a completely different color scheme for the loading screen and you get the same old boring interface now what I like about this interface is that it's highly efficient for any type of media workflow and this is why I'm not expecting Sony to change any of these interface uh, modules or anything designs like that in the next couple of versions of Sony Vegas so um, I would have preferred them if they I would have preferred if they changed the design, but you can't get any better than this, in my opinion. So let's go on and import a video. And one of the small minor features that Sony has implemented is once you implement or import a video onto your timeline, Sony will automatically ask you if you want to set your project video settings to match the settings of the video. And I'm just going to use this. You can turn this off in the settings and of course you have your video and you're going to notice that uh, the video objects represented on the timeline have a different design compared to the Vegas Pro 11 but this has basically no change in terms of software or hardware so one of the first features that I was really excited about was FX masking which is basically allowing you to mask out any uh, video effects on a specific part of the video now in previous versions of Vegas Pro, you had to, let's say if you want to mask out, add a, or add a video effects to just this little symbol right here, you would have to create another video track and duplicate the same exact video on top of it and mask it out. Well you don't have to do that anymore in Vegas Pro 12 because now what you can do is, I'm just going to go to my video effects, get the pixelate video effects apply it to my video and it's gonna pixelate my video and I'm going to go into my event pan crop option and I'm going to select mask and with the Vegas Pro 12 Sony has implemented the new rectangle or oval circle mask creation tool which is I think is pretty uh, neat and I'm just gonna draw this over the symbol and once you draw the mask shape, you're going to notice that it masks out the uh, shape that you created. And to uh, apply the FX masking to the video effects, you go into your mask. And apply to FX is set to no by default. You want to go ahead and click yes. And that will basically apply the, um, the FX video effects to the inside of your mask shape. So I think that's a pretty cool feature that I think will become really helpful later on in my video projects. Uh, but for now I only had an hour or two to actually look over this program so uh, sorry I couldn't go over a lot of the features uh, that have been implemented into this program but over the next few weeks and the month um, I'm going to be covering this program, giving you guys a few quick tips on how to use some of the features to help you guys with your media workflow. And uh, if you have any requests for any tutorials for this program, feel free to comment down below and I'll make sure to uh, implement them into my new Sony Vegas Pro 12 video series. So I will see you guys next time.